I think there's, uh, I'm hoping there's more footage of that weird, creepy jester that the whole internet was going crazy on. Who knows? It might be fake, it might not be fake. But... I'm hoping it's when real. I want to see some real stuff. For those who wait. This next mysterious video was shared to the internet without a source. It is a federal crime. Yeah, that's the, the interesting part. I don't know. Recorded by a CCTV camera inside What'd a restaurant you do? I took someone's Amazon package. Work <laughs> and cleaning up for the night. What happens? <laughs> was it worth it? What was in the package? It was a, it was a massager. <laughs> you don't want to admit that it was an actual, you know, it's like, oh, it was a massager. Yeah, just, just a massager. <laughs> next is shocking. Okay, they said bad things come to those who wait. All right, so we got an ex, we got a dead ex employee that's mad. Make me mop the whole restaurant, will you? Bad. <laughs> yeah, yo, dude, it's like, it's like I'm super, crit I super, I criticize everything, but I want, I want it to be real. I want a real haunting. I want. I wanted the ghost. I invite ghosts to my house all the time. I sharpie summoning circles and everything all the time. A mop and what happened there? Sliding across the restaurant floor by itself. But most horrifying of all, some kind of invisible force violently grabs the waitress by her hair. <laughs> Is that her hair? A mop and a bucket can be seen sliding across the restaurant floor by itself. But most I thought, horrifying I thought she of got all. Oh, okay, I thought I thought that, I don't know why I thought there was like a I thought the ghost threw a rag at her face and like started some kind of invisible force violently grabs the waitress by her hair and pulls her backwards out of frame. Now oh, that without is a, bit a source, creepy. we don't know what happened next, but I'm imagining lots of screaming and running. At that point, what you do is you call the pope. Oh dear. <laughs> A couple of young hunters are out scouting the countryside for deer. They search and film through a camera with a long range lens. When suddenly the hunter catches something that is just weird. A ghost deer. Watching them. Ghost Bigfoot, right. go. How do you Look. track them? The ghost wants to show her how to clean. You think that's what it is? <laughs> it's just, that's why he kicked over the mop bucket. Like, hey, you're not done mopping. You barely, you did, that was a ha you only did one pass. You're supposed to do like three passes. The first, the first one to get the big items. The second one to, to get all the specs it does. And the third one to make it spotless. It just, just got really mad. Started yanking her hair. Get back here. I'm going to show you how to mop this thing. More that's, black that's, dogs. <laughs> Cody, they turn this on. that's what happened. If your, if your boss ever passes. Oh, snap. It's SCP, right. uh, whatever, the shy happens? guy. Two more black dogs. Cody. Oh, look, you see that? oh, what the crap? Is that a guy? What the frick? What, what the, the elongated arms, though? What was that? He's walking creepy. Dude, that was a skinwalker. What? <laughs> <Follow him. laughs> I, <videoed him. laughs> I, love, I love the guy. Dude, that was a skinwalker. That's 100% skin skinwalker. Dude, I, I'll be honest with you. I have met too many people that talk about skinwalkers and, and have their own stories. Yeah, and I'm just like, it. I kind of hope. What the frick? I'm, just, I'm gonna go get my... <laughs> That was a skinwalker. No. Even in the distance and with the bad video quality, it is obvious that some Yo, the arm, the arms are way too elongated. The large machine cool. figure seems to be chasing the deer and running at an inhumanly fast speed. The unidentified figure looks humanoid After in shape. After conducting research, I've concluded that you are Glue Gutter Monkey's like last brother. <laughs> the guys Awesome, my dude. Dude, you think if if it, dude, you should also check up my uncle. His name you should ask him. My uncle is actually called a uh, uh, doo doo flinger monkey. Uh, <laughs> I throw flames. He flings uh, doo doos. Uh, so that's just you know, ask him if there's any relationship there. Are confused and laugh it off, but are baffled by what they just captured. Monkey's bad. The hunters still have no idea what they filmed to this day. Ask him. Ask Glue Gunner Monkey if he owns Gorilla Glue. That's actually a good question. I'm not gonna lie. Through the eyes of a child. Early one evening in Louisiana, Mallory Weber is taking a fun video of her son Cashton when something unexpected happens. Hey, I want more footage of the skinwalker though. Off, but are baffled by what they just captured. The hunters still have no idea what they filmed to this day. Through the I mean, of course, I we can't we can never really like 
throw away the, the the potential that somebody's just trying to record some kind of you know movie or something or something for YouTube, especially in this day and age. Yeah, but dude, the child. that's awesome. Early one evening in Louisiana, Mallory Weber is taking a fun video. It's kind of like uh, it reminds me of those. What was it, World War Two when one of the gunners uh, that was like trying to drop a that was like flying over uh, the uh, South American uh, rainforest and they just like accidentally took a photo or recorded footage of like this incredibly ginormous snake that's like almost it should have been impossible if anything it was closer to like a Titanoboa the freaking uh, uh, ancient snake the giant snakes uh, so it was like it was like what. Awesome. Like well, you never know, it could genuinely just be unexpected happens, some animal that's been out there this, this whole time. Kills her. Jeez. Like look at all the fish we're fighting Jeez. constantly, which look alien, dude. <laughs> what you doing? What you see? What? What you see? Uh-uh, who are you saying hi to? <laughs> Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. The little boy appears to see someone standing inside Mallory's- This is- this is why- see, now even the ghosts are trying to get into your Snapchats, dude. Please let it be real. I really wish- I really hope it's real, Bedroom. dude. Bedroom. Someone he calls Paw Paw. Freaked out by his behavior, Mallory quickly walks over to the bedroom to look inside. But there's no one there. Baffled by what just happened, she posts her video to TikTok where it quickly spreads and is watched by millions. Her comment section is flooded with questions, so she decides to answer a few in two more videos. There's really not much of a backstory, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just videoing him being cute and saying cheese and then that happened. Um Pia, yeah, stop putting your kids like on the internet. Like don't don't do that. Like what are you doing? Never happened before. Both his grandpas are still alive. It. That's even creepier. The fact that his grandpas are still alive. <laughs> that means that you got some pedo ghost out there after your kid, man. My grandpa and my husband's grandpa that both passed away like a year ago. Um, oh. he did meet both of them. Uh, they never lived in my house before. That bedroom was me and my husband's bedroom. I'm trying to think of all the questions because I'm. Did the kid call your grandparents papa? I want to answer all y'all. Um, I don't know. That's about it. This never happened before, so that's why I was telling him to stop and that it was freaking me out because I didn't know how to respond. It never happened and it was freaking me out. That um, is the correct response. Kid, you shut up. You don't. No. No. You're not. <laughs> I am not. I, I, I don't have enough money to hire the Ghostbusters right now. Uh, that's my I just hired the exterminators. Don't make me. <laughs> Who's Papa? Um, Papa could be my grandpa or my husband's grandpa because they both passed the same year. Um, both at my son's grandpa. It's like the Five Nights at Freddy's Amalgamation. Both grandfathers, like, or, or, or even better, dude. They freaking, like, they did the, the, the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z and they became the ultimate. That's why it's Papa. It's two grandpas at the same time. <laughs> Are both alive. They decided to fuse call them together. Grandpa's, papa's, grandfather, I don't know. But we call them Papa. That's how they are down here. That's what we call them. That so the kid the kid specifically saw some kind know. of grandpa. So could it be that the boy saw the spirit of one of his parents' grandfathers? Or what do you think is going on here? Let me know. What that was was girl, that was your father trying video, to use your kid to communicate Georgia. to you like he's like, Papa, it's like, hey. Get off that dang phone! Uh, proud mother Christy is home alone with Play her two-year-old son Levi when Stop he too them on sees something hands. that his mother just can't see. see. I'm telling you, dude, ghosts ghosts know to go after the kids now because of the Twitter. The, the, not the Twitter, because of TikTok. Yeah, Where's your favorite place to go? What do you see? I see something in a hike. You see what? A bad thing. A bad thing? A bad thing. I what see a bad thing. Like? A ghost. A ghost? It looks like a ghost. It is one. No, no, there's no ghosts. No ghosts here. Ghosts be gone. Be gone, Satan! I love this girl's got the right idea, though. Mom. 
we go and see them? It's not scary in your room. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to stop acting. Yeah, weird. I put the holy water it's all over the room. I like this kid. This is a smart kid. This kid's this kid's going places. Yeah, my my room's not scary. I put holy water. I got crosses. I put runic symbols to make sure nothing it's can walk not in. It's scary in here. It's a scary thing floating in the house. There's a scary thing floating. Where? The house. Baby, there's nothing there. Yes, it is. No, there's not. Stop it. Stop it. Little Levi appears to see something this that kid. he describes to be <laughs> this a, is a quote, brave one though. Bad thing. A quote ghost. And Look, Mama. Quote, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just telling you there's a demon at the end of that he corridor. Just his mother to go to his room where in <laughs> And I prepared my room. Not scary. To After defend the you. Shock wears off but if you don't want to believe me then you know it is what it is. I'm going to make it out of this alive. I already know. She follows her son. I'm just trying to help you out, Mama. No kiss kind of me. In my room. Oh, I love people's comments. Believe him. Take him to his room where he feels safe. Try to go in mommy in my room. Think it's savvy. Oh, go in my room. Uh, mommy, go in me. Okay. Cool. Mommy, cool. Do not let your child run off by himself Why closer to the demon. Yo, this kid's room is awesome. He's got the Lightning McQueen bed. He's got the freaking car trial, like town, freaking drug. Nothing scary. Y'all can get those at Ikea. Now, it's worth mentioning that Christy's TikTok page is completely dedicated to cute videos of her son. But none of them have anything to do with the paranormal, except these two. Okay, so I, I like that kind of background really stuff. A it could just be for like some easy clout, you know, at the same time, but, it, but it's the kid saying all this crazy stuff. So, listen, it's, in, it's, on, it's on brand, Something I guess. Something scary enough for him to warn his mother and guide her to safety? Let me know what you think. We yeah, he's gonna be the new Van Helsing, videos. just saying. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at... I say it every time, but I really wish I had some kind of scary the footage. Inheritance. This next TikTok user might seem familiar to you as we... Okay, I, I was hoping for this, because I know you've covered him, Nuke. I know uh, the other guy, Scary Comp, has covered him. This is the Jester, the Jester clown thing, and I've been he's seeing around that more footage may have surfaced. He featured the beginning of his story on Nuke's Top 5 before. He said he was going to sell now his Jacob grandma's house, he inherited but his now I don't want him to. House after she passed away, and he now lives in the old home. He spent While like one night his there. Grandmother's belongings, he finds a creepy old antique Jester doll. Jacob feels eerily drawn to the strange doll and decides to keep it, sitting it on top of a bureau in his bedroom. It was a very bad idea. One night, Jacob is woken up by the sound of knocking coming from his bedroom closet. Okay, so there is new footage. Okay, yeah, I remember this. This one's like terrifying, dude. I just heard knocking. And like the worst part is the dude doesn't even notice that the clown like I wanna know if y'all notice it, but but This reminds me of a story about the life-size clown statue. That's horrifying. What the, the, the life-size clown statue? You know what I always think? I do I think of uh what is it? Paul? No, no not Paul. What is it? Ralph Ralph from uh Look at this, look at this. Y'all saw that? This dude didn't even notice it. That's the worst part. And, and I don't mean like not just he didn't notice it. When the footage was first coming out, this dude didn't realize that the jester was staring at him suddenly until people in the comments told him. Look at that. He didn't even notice it because he had the, he, he heard the spooky banging. Uh, uh, but in the people were telling him in the comments like, yo, that 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 turn though. Soon after posting this horrifying video, Jacob just sort of disappeared from the internet. Now yeah, he said he was going to sell the house and just be done with it. And Jacob is back. 
He says he's been busy slowly renovating the house and has now moved the Jester doll into its own oh, room. Oh, so he did end up keeping Jacob it. Jacob says that for seven months, nothing really happened. Of course nothing happened. The ghost the ghost wanted to see how good you renovated the house. Because depending on, on how nice you actually made if you made it cruddy looking, he was going to haunt you even more. But then late one night, Jacob is again woken up by a strange sound. What happens next is chilling. I just heard banging. It's just grandma. That wallpaper you put in the kitchen is ugly. Whose dumb idea was it to put install a bay window? I mean, it's either that or grandma knows about the, the family treasure. She's trying to let him know, like, hey, dude, I got like 15 gold bars. <laughs> the door has the creepiest, like, just scared, like that. Like, bro, go buy some oil. Go get some WD-40 and, like, spray it on those hinges. What are you doing? with the clown. Careful now. Don't let that ghost push you down the stairs. The story is about a babysitter and two children taking care of her. Parents tell her not to leave the children's side of the children. Have been claiming to see something lady in the bedroom when she hung up the parents' bedroom. There was creepy. I've heard. I don't know if I heard that. Didn't didn't they make a, a a movie that like kind of ripped off that whole that old story? I've heard that story before. Or, or am I just confusing it with that whole situation, that whole story where where it's like the same thing happens, but it turned out that the life size clown was actually just like a dude who broke in. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Jacob hears loud banging. She calls the parents, the tells them about the cloud statue, and they're the like, we don't freaking have one of those. And it was just like a dog. dude. He gets up to investigate, but finds nothing out of the ordinary. That's but terrifying. Then, I think some movie, I don't know which one it was, some B movie. The staircase right behind yeah, him. Uh, the door to the I don't know what movie it was, but some. Open, and when he turns around. No way. Look at the clown, look at the clown, look at the clown, look at the clown. I told you not to put tiles on the second floor bathroom. <laughs> we agreed. We agreed on wallpaper and set our wood. <laughs> Get rid of them dang tiles. Jacob hears loud banging. That clown has opinions. Next he rushed back up to the bedroom. The, the clown was the kids are dead. Oh, ball. that's he is that the original? I hate. Okay, admittedly, I think in the movie that ripped off that then, story, they did. He didn't. He didn't kill the kids because in the movie it ended too fast. Right but you know, behind him, uh, the door to the doll's room oh, slowly man. swings open, and when he turns around, I, I, I think some I, someone, some teacher, somebody had told me that story once before. Jacob's absolutely freaked out and decides to move the doll once again. But this time, he leaves it all the way down in the basement. After everything that's happened, he decides to buy a security camera to keep an eye on the creep. Bro, why would you show- The clown is obviously opinionated on how you, like, fixing up the house. You really gonna put it in the worst room possible? Be dull. And that might have been a mistake. The clown- Because just days after putting the gesture doll down in the basement, things start to happen that are absolutely What is up with the fact terrifying. that he's turned around? Did he go down there and turn the clown around?
I don't know. I would just sell this gesture or throw it away. I understand, and I don't blame you. But like I said, I want spookies to happen. I want like I, like I wouldn't. I'm sure I'd be terrified, poop, pooping my pants and whatnot. But I really want something like paranormal to happen to me, so I can like actually, I don't know, have personal like. I would give it to a friend <laughs> specifically. Hey man, uh, here you go. This is for your uh, your your birthday. Uh, it's like the heck did you buy me this for? Look, man, it's just for your birthday. All right, don't worry about it. It's an antique. Uh, go ahead and like film it though while you <laughs> don't ask questions. Oh come on! Ah, son, you can't just do that. What is this? Is like the is is like the dude going down there to adjust the clown every once in a while? How did the head go like start looking up? How and when did the head did the face start looking at the camera? I want more. Strange shadows can be seen moving around the creepy doll, and TikTok viewers swear that they can see one of the doll's eyes moving. But oh, that's not nice. all that Jacob's security camera captures. What happens next is pure nightmare fuel. That eye did look like it. it <laughs> I know which friend exactly I'd give it to. Nah, uh, come on. What is this Five Nights at Freddy's found? Nah. What happened? I heard the spooky music. I didn't see it. What I miss? Oh, nah, nah, come on now. <laughs> the ghost is actually really bad at timing it. He really wanted to like wait until the camera wasn't wasn't looking at him, but he he, he got a little antsy, you know, a little, a little too excited. Oh, come on though. Of course, of course, the scary start to happen. Why would you put it in the basement? You're just gonna piss it off. Knock the camera over. The doll's arm moves by itself just before the basement light bulb shatters. Then, in a later video, the camera is pushed over without explanation. Jacob now believes he might. Yeah, the clown's mad. You stuck it in a basement just to record it. It's like, bro, Grandma had me in the main bedroom. <laughs> Nice wallpaper. I had tons of clown friend. Like he had so many other clown dolls and stuff. Now you got me stuck in this basement, staring at this wall. Might have inherited a seriously haunted house. And you don't think you're gonna make it mad? And it's getting increasingly more freaked out as each night passes. He doesn't want the doll anywhere near him, and will continue to keep it in the basement. You can follow Jacob's paranormal captures over on his that eye, the moving eye thing is actually doll five. Genuinely terrifying. What waits? And I'm what? actually starting to wonder. I'd rather die. So shall we? <laughs> like I'm genuinely wondering now. Like I, like, do you think there might be some mechanical component in there that's like little by little moving, Whoa. or like Paranormal gets a little hint of life every once in a while? I don't know. From the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations, explore the Kelvin and Hatch nuclear bunker in England. In the early 1950s, the bunker was built 125 Master, feet going, my dude, underground the chat. and was Change intended to be the uh, center the of original. operations for the UK. Oh yeah, absolutely, my dude, no worries. I know you, you, you've been, the you've been super the uh, 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 is busy with school and stuff, no worries, my dude. Uh, I have not played the Dolores games. I wanted to hold off a little bit, do some other woods. stuff. I'll be honest with you, I played another point and click adventure game that I thought was going to last longer. It did not. We finished it one day. It was So I figured, let's play some other spooky games and then we'll definitely get back to Dolores. That's for sure. Officer in uniform is said to appear and shout at visitors to get out. I've also and been trying to get all the secret endings. <laughs> <known as Charles, laughs> I've been like off, off the street. The areas on the second floor. Could you leave inside a house where a demon searches for you, but limit it for a full year and get like one hundred percent yes? Well, I don't know if like what do you mean by the demon searches for you? Like is it gonna murder me? That's a whole different situation. We you ask and do it for questions. But I lived in a house that uh, unfortunately I never. I never got the freaking, uh, like, I told this story in the middle, why not? We got 60 minutes in. Uh, I've said this in the past before, but, so, basically, one of my childhood houses, uh, we didn't know this at the time. It, this was a secret kept by my father and uncle, uh, but apparently, when they first purchased the house, we got it for pretty cheap. The reason being, that apparently, like, there was some 
unexplained stuff. Somebody died in there. Nothing too crazy, right? It's not like some crazy super like stuff. Uh, uh, it's gonna murder you, and if it finds you, it drags you to hell and do unspeakable acts to you. But you said a trillion dollars, right? That's like Jeff Bezos' money. Like, like what can I can I defend myself? Like, can I like lock myself in the room? Cause, or like, or like holy water stuff? Like, I'm just saying, like. <laughs> Like what happens if I escape hell and come back? Do I get to still get the trillion dollars? Because that's a, that's also on the. But no, no, no. So like, uh, uh, <laughs> what was I? Okay, so I think somebody like passed away or something in that house. We're, we didn't have too much info, and of course the friggin' you know the dudes aren't gonna ever tell you all the information either, regardless. But during this is after they'd already like the 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 dudes who were selling the house and everything, or the uh, uh, the agents and all that. Like they'd already. Get, made a pass through of the house. They'd had inspectors and stuff going through it to check for the plumbing, yada, yada, all that stuff. Now, for some reason, this is a really old-style house, so it actually had, like, the main house where there's, like, a kitchen, like, a half-kitchen, half-dining room, half-living room situation going. And then it just had a long hallway with two bedrooms on either side. At the very end of the hallway, another bedroom. And then even further down, an extra hallway. So it was, like, two hallways. All the way at the end, there was a, a bit of a speakeasy kind of place, basically, or what used to be a speakeasy. So it had a little ballroom, and in the ballroom was a was a bar. Uh, uh, so it was basically just like you know California in those those times. They basically just had a, a hidden a hidden bar back there, a hidden speakeasy. Uh, the thing is, the thing is, even after having people, multiple people checking out the house. Get going through and inspecting it, doing the whole thing, uh, like to the point where it, it, uh, once you get past the bar, once you get past the, the speakeasy, uh, in, there's another small, tiny little patio that had a well. Uh, and of course, my father didn't like the idea of having a well there. We had, he, had, he had the kids, he had dogs. So he, they, they pretty much like, you know, hired some people to go in there and fill up the, the well full of cement. Well, <laughs> during the final walkthrough, of the house, like, ah, hey, yeah, we're about to close the contract, let's go do it, my dude, uh, they find a bloody knife just jabbed into, like, just, just, just the corner of one of the ceiling, like, like, high up in the corner of the room, so, like, it, like, you would have to get on a ladder, go up there, and, like, stab the freaking knife up there, they, they never found out if it was just old rust or if it was actually blood or what. It was just old and rusty. It might have been human blood. You know, the, 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 the couple times we've been able to get my pops to admit to it, he said it was blood. But other than that, he's just like, nah, it was just rusty. It was just rusty. I, I don't know if it was blood. It was just rusty, you know? So he changed the story at one point. Uh, but as a kid, I remember all those details because they were telling us, you know, they tried to keep it away from us. But my pops and my uncle would sort of on the down low be like, like, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. We didn't, we didn't, no, it's, everything's good. You know, like whenever we would ask questions about just the, the house in general. Well, we lived there for years, my dude. Lived there for years. Uh, the only spooky thing I can say I ever experienced was the simple fact that, like, I would, I would, as a child, I would consistently, constantly, almost nightly have nightmares. Uh, uh, to the point where I actually, you know, the doctor would, 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 uh, send me to a sleep study for it. Uh, but, Nothing too crazy, too spooky, nothing too insane from there. Uh, the only thing I can say personally that I felt that might, might, have been, might have been super spooky is for some reason, I would wake up in the middle of the night to go use the restroom. And the way, since, since it was literally like a, two hallways and a speakeasy, basically, uh, I would have to cross the hallway, go across to use the restroom. And I don't know why, but my entire childhood, my entire childhood, I always would look to the right down the hallway and for some reason no matter how much light you put there was always just a deep darkness down there just just way too dark like darker than what you sh it should realistically have been might have just been the over you know imaginative mind of a small kid but i just always felt like something was down that freaking hallway over at the speakeasy and 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 like I don't know. I just I, I always felt that as a kid, but again, I was a kid who constantly had nightmares, so I I constantly was on edge. You know, I'm sure that's probably why I like so much horror stuff nowadays. But I always felt that. Never felt anything weird. Okay, we, all right. So now here's where the kicker comes in, because you have to have the kicker. All right. We sell the house after not experiencing any crazy weird phenomena. 
We sell the house, and I want to say two months after it had been sold, everything was said and done. You know, we would go back and visit the new the new house owners, you know, because we were friendly with them. Uh, and we'd like, oh, yeah, how's everything going? Oh, everything's great. Everything's this and yeah. Oh, what kind of ideas were you doing? Were you going to change this? You're going to add, they added like a second apartment to it and stuff like that, like uh, on top of the garage. Bunch of cool stuff. Well, <laughs> at this point in life, I'm like 17 years old. The lady, the lady that owns the house is like, hey, uh, did you guys ever notice anything weird? Uh, and, and I'm just like, you know, at this point, I don't remember that story about the knife. I'm just like, no, not really. Like, no, what do you mean? What do you mean? And, and she, she's just like, so one night my husband went out to the back at, with the bar uh, and, and we, they installed like a sliding door, like the windowed sliding doors. And she said that they saw a shadow of a man with wings. And she said, in her words, she said it didn't look, it not wings like, like, like angel wings or bird wings. It looked like bat wings, like, like sharp, jagged edge. And we're like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, my husband, she's like, I never saw it. But my husband said that he went there and while he was just back there having the, you know, his, his fantasy dream of having a bar and cleaning the cups and stuff. She just, she, he saw what would have looked like, you know, the light in the bar. It looked like somebody might have been standing at the doorway, inside or outside the doorway, and just the shadow was being cast out into the rest of the backyard of, of, of a human being, specifically a human being that looked like they might have had wings, like bat wings. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And of course, we're all like, no, we never experienced anything weird. You know, I even made a dumb joke about like, yeah, the only haunted noises I heard was my dad snoring. <laughs> I was being so, we go and tell my dad, and my dad's like, oh yeah, by the way, we found that bloody knife that one time. <laughs> they were like, what are you talking about? He's just like, yeah, apparently uh, the dude who owned it was a cultist or something like that. He's like, I don't remember all the details. My dad's like that. My dad's like, he's just like, ah, hey, some, some BS, some, I don't know. He was a cultist or something. He was some kind of, I don't know what it was. Uh, some, some weird dude. It's just like, what are you talking? You never decided to tell us this. You never told us any of that information. Like at no point during me having to get sent to go get a sleep study for a constant nightmares where you like, hey, by the way, I think a cultist might've owned this place. And, and there was like a bloody knife. Like, I don't know if I should get, you know, my dad was just like, nah, screw that dude. We got the house for cheap. <laughs> oh, Shelby says, apparently as a baby, I would wake up and crawl outside my bedroom and start banging on doors around the house. Oh, wow. Your parents must've, must've been terrified and constantly. They literally had to look for you. That's insane. Oh, you know what? Actually, now that you mentioned that, the only other, like, one weird thing, it happened one time. Never happened again. They, they, didn't, they didn't make a big deal about it. Uh, but somebody, apparently, one time my brother, like, the way my parents slept when whenever they had my brother was, you know, it would be mom on one side, dad on the other side, baby in the middle. Uh, that was before, you know, we people were a lot smarter about not, not putting babies in dangerous, possibly suffocating situations. But for some reason, in the middle of the night, they woke up to my little, to my older, my older brother crying. Uh, and they found him, like, dead in the middle of the bed, under the bed. Like, dead in the middle of the bed. So, like, literally, he would have had to, as a, as a baby, I think he was maybe one, two years old max, as a baby, somehow the baby would have had to get up, get off the bed, which right off the bat, any baby would have fallen, you know? And then gun, gotten under the bed, in the dead middle of the bed. Of this like queen size bed. That's still and they they were freaked out. Of course, you know they. I ever I remember too. They actually did get the pastor to come down one time from the nearby church to like you know pass sage and like bless the house. But when they told us, it was like oh it's just blessing the house, man. It's just blessing the house. Yeah, all, 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 all Catholics do this. Trust me, it's just just a little quick little blessing. <laughs> That's terrifying, though. So you would literally just run around the house and just jump scare them all the time, just banging on doors and stuff. <laughs> Master Sam says plot twist after getting the one trillion dollars you get hunted by humans oh wow like the movie so you like you you're done surviving the freaking demon and then immediately the humans start to come back to be fair I'm, I'm sure some human out there would try to get my money you know at some point some way or another <laughs> but man um, no. that, there you go that's my one and only ghost story while I was there, I never saw no freaking clowns turning their heads or some kind of apparition. I personally never saw no channel man or nothing like that. 
The people who owned the house after me told me that story about the freaking paranormal dude investigations with team plans to spend the entire night but underground in the bunker. Just like no, I, I never saw nothing. I never saw nothing. My mom never saw nothing. My brother never saw nothing. My pops. Now, if he saw something, he sure as heck is not going to tell and us. And <laughs> find themselves on the top floor. Uh, uh, Shelby says, "I'm glad we were all creepy babies at one time." Absolutely, my dude. Absolutely. Lead investigator Jeff says that he I, which experienced is, which is a completely weird, unnerving you'd, you'd think with those like constant nightmares and stuff, I would have been like, I hate room. scary things. Nah, dude. I used, like, once I got to middle school, I was reading scary stories to tell in the dark. I loved all that artwork. Oh, you, I was all into all that You're stuff. Right. R.L. Stein, all that. I made you jump. I got touched on my arm. In there. Right next. There was a demon sleeping on the bed. Just grab your arm. Come to bed, honey. Hello? Oh, snap. Oh, you're not my you're not my girl. What are you doing? <laughs> the ghost just grabbed his arm. Like, come to bed, honey. <laughs> Did you just touch me? The ghost is like, you're gonna have and to rephrase it like later, that. I'm not Jeff gonna just team are back. You can't again. ask someone if I touch Alone you like that. You gotta the rephrase same it. Dormitory room <laughs> and in pitch black darkness I plead the once fifth. again. The guys do their investigation and then decide to leave the dorms. But yeah, and I apparently it do it in the dead of night when everyone's well. asleep. We finished That's the creepy. session in the dormitories, and as we tried you would to really leave, wait. You really waited until they got into that REM sleep, huh? You really waited until they... The other side. <laughs> They'd just be banging I around the doors while the crying. Door, pulling as hard as I yes. can, but the door will not open. At that point, your parents should have just left all the doors open. Like, just make sure that, they, you know? <laughs> but then maybe it would have been something worse. But it was you, so I don't know. Who's oh, holding that door? I did used to sleepwalk, but it was a whole different house, whole different situation. That was that that I don't think that had anything to do with ghosts. I, I I was a sleepwalker though, for sure. Absolutely. I would I would I would I would sleepwalk up to the attic and then I would sleepwalk down back into the to the house. So they like stairs, like two flights of stairs, which was that that's scary on its own. Like the fact that I was unconsciously walking around, but other than that there's no Can we come out please? You have no recollection of it. That's to even more terrifying. Now. Thank you. It has nothing to do with ghosts. I was just a creepy baby. I get that. No, I get that. Who knows? You might have been like lucid dreaming as a kid. I don't know. That's trippy. That's pretty weird. Oh, now it opens. Now it opens. Hello? Look at this genius. You can tell he's a ghost hunter. Look at this man. He's so smart that he said, I'm going to leave my foot all the way over here so that so that this ghost can't lock me in there. <laughs> I'm so thankful that we're all creepy. Oh, absolutely, dude. Children are terrifying. My ne my nephew has absolutely done that where in the middle of the night, one like 100%, like 4 in the morning, I, I woke up and he was just standing next to me, just staring at me. Like just, just, just this like three, four year old baby, just, just, just staring at me, dead of the night, just like got up out of bed, and 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 like just I don't know, just decided to get out of bed. I'm a big dude, so I don't think he climbed over me to get out of bed. He must have like gotten off, went around the bed, and then came right up to my face and just sort of stared at me, just, just. I wake up in the at four in the morning. I wake up middle of the night, just like uh, like like he didn't wake me up. He didn't cry, didn't scream, didn't like shake me. I just woke up because I guess I had to use the restroom or something. Woke up and just baby staring at me. Just <laughs> oh, dude, I had flashbacks. Well, I thought it was in, in the, the Chucky movies. I thought it was in the, in the, the child's play. Seems uh, to be held uh, shut by some unknown force, but then after a polite request, it suddenly open just it. opens with ease. Jeff says that it felt like someone was holding the door shut on the other side. The ghost is like, ah, oh, I'm sorry, man. It was just a prank, bro. Take just a prank, a bro. Very creepy turn. After a long night of investigating, the team heads off to bed. Bill is preparing to lay down inside the dormitories when, unbeknownst to him, their static camera captures something chilling. Phil arranges his bed. There is no. I'll be honest with you guys. If you guys do want to check out these dudes, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. They're genuinely the kind of people that if nothing scary happens, they'll put up the footage regardless. Like, they'll put up the footage where nothing scary at all happens. No one else on this level and they're just like, we're just disappointed. And so that's really cool. I do like these guys. Bunk bed, Another group of people that have gotten scary speed, stuff but have nothing to do with paranormal stuff is uh, 
You can I didn't see, see it. I didn't see it. Hair and a white shirt oh, as it passes on. by. An unknown figure passes by the same door that was held was it, uh, the other guys are uh, something earlier. The uh, Rustic team says that no one else was on this floor at this time, and the entrance to the bunker Was it Beeper Seekers, was Mystery Seekers, shut. something like that? Beeper. Also, it goes without saying that this small, dark-haired figure certainly doesn't look like any Finders, of the Finders, Beepers, team. Mystery Seekers. So there we go. I think it's something like that. Those dudes are awesome, but they don't do scary things. They, they basically they just like to go check out old bad buildings and architecture. Channel, They're really just doing it for the exploration. Like They actually just go into buildings, check it out. They try to watch and look at everything. Uh, especially like if, even if even if things are overgrown and like they have bushes and grass and stuff, they'll try to find a way to get into it and just sort of like scope out the whole like, map out the whole area. England. It's super cool, uh, and and like there and there is no attempting to be scary or spooky or anything CCTV like that. Camera. And most of the time, they look at it during the daytime and stuff. But every once in a while, they'll get some very interesting spooky things happening. Including one time, I think they found a homeless dude. I, I'm not even joking. That was like hiding from them under the bed. The dog happened to find him. It was terrible. Ooh. No, it's not showing anything. Ooh. 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 It's not a very clear picture because it's quite shiny. A bizarre bright light that resembles fire seems to appear out of nowhere behind it's the car. Fire cars. demon! Luke says that neither he or his family have any idea what these strange fireballs could be. There I will no admit that's, that's one of those situations where you could totally put it down to like uh, the footage was corrupted, burnt, or or had a flare, light flare, things like that. You could totally explain that one away, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I had a cousin who followed me everywhere and it was it always scared me from no time to time. Lines I get you. Running above I get this you. Particular area. So you I think that was Jesus? Just Jesus popped what up real quick. What do you think quick? this strange oh. ball of light is? I'm stumped, so... Let me know. The Waving Woman. Paranormal investigators Pete and Dan from the YouTube channel Night Watchers Paranormal Australia okay, I don't think set I, out I don't to know investigate the allegedly haunted Mapleton Cemetery in Australia. The story goes that over the years, many people have witnessed the eerie apparition of a woman crossing the road next to the cemetery. They say that the mysterious woman waved at them and then seemed to disappear right before their eyes. Dan and Pete begin their investigation by setting up two static cameras, one recording in night vision mode. As the investigators are still deploying several motion sensors around the graveyard, their night vision camera captures something truly bizarre. I'm not gonna lie, I would to, if they, depending on the pay, right? And, and I, I, I've never gotten an offer for anyone around here, but uh, I'd, I'd work a night shift at a graveyard, I don't mind. I'd do it. Like, what's the ghost gonna do to me? They dead. That's an interesting one. It's like subtle. It's subtle. It's nothing crazy. A dark shadow-like figure can be seen quickly darting from right to left across the cemetery grounds. Like, my only thing is, like, uh, and, and, and I'm not saying, like, again, I really hope it's real. I really hope it's ghosts. But it, too easily, this is basically like an owl flying. Phew, and, and just, you know, the, the, the casting a shadow via the moonlight. Like, that's that's something that happens pretty pretty constantly, to be honest with you. Godbeard, if a hand comes up while you're working, just say no and hit it with a shovel. <laughs> darting from right to left across the cemetery yeah. grounds. What's now, that? What's that one is, piece from anime? The the, the, the one piece where the, the zombie comes out of the ground, he just it grabs it in the head and just shoves right it back in the dirt. <laughs> the two investigators don't hear or see anything at the time. I'll have a super soaker full of uh, holy water. What they captured later when reviewing their footage. Get back! So could it be that the mysterious waving woman made an appearance, or? Let me know what you think this is. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Night Watchers Paranormal Australia. Danvers State Hospital.
So these next two videos were posted to YouTube yeah, I, I a long can, time I, that, ago, that last one was, nothing was, in either decent. video was intended I, I, to show it's anything It's not convincing me, you know, or anything like that, but I, I, fact, I, I really do hope it's freaking were posted by Urban Explorers really who have never posted a single paranormal video ever. But some sharp-eyed nukes top I'll see if I can find them. I am surprised. and noticed There's also some dude in, I, I don't know if it's in India, missed. or if it's, it's a, or where exactly it was. Asher. Just because I don't know the language at all. The video was but he's a dude who, like, hunts down gins. And the best part is, he is not scared, bro. Like, he literally is in the middle of some crazy stuff happening, shouting a, a prayer out at the ghosts. And, like, when a door starts to, like, slide close, he'll go and kick that door down. And like try to see what happens and there's been moments where he kicks a door down and the door gets slammed back at him like not as like a, 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 a like a you know you hit the door and it bounces right back at you no like he kicks it open it opens and stays open like it full stop and then it just gets slammed right back at him again he just kicks it right again shouting a prayer like cool. nah son who's in there then he goes in there with the camera there's nobody Dave, there it's like oh filming inside the i'll see if i can get his Denver name or something State we're gonna have to check hospital. out some of his stuff the denver's hospital was an insane asylum built back in 1874. eventually it was discovered that patients were being subjected to horrible treatment and abuse at the Isn't hands that of literally the every staff. single psychological hospital Denver in, State every, hospital like, in recorded was history basically abandoned though in the 1990s it goes without saying that the huge empty structure still was still lobotomize people as an actual legitimate medical practice haunted. so dave is exploring the basement while recording everything on an old analog camcorder dave doesn't know it but he captures something truly bizarre oh i saw it i saw it Dude just walking right through Did the doorway. You see it? A dark figure can be seen moving inside a doorway. Now Dave has never said that what was captured was anything paranormal. In fact, he's never even saw the figure. And the footage is over 20 years old. But a watchful Nukes Top 5 viewer spotted this creepy figure and I'm not sure what it is. Could it be that they accidentally captured the spirit the of a Denver's hospital patient? Lobotomies are still used in patient? special cases. It, are they? Well, I, I've heard about know. that. I, just, I don't know what kind because of case. Because Denver's hospital like, what was torn down in 2007 and replaced by luxury apartments. Seems like a scary place to live. School spirit. This next video was sent in by Nuke Stop 5 viewer Ethan Sheely who together with his brother used to explore abandoned places in North Carolina and upload their footage to YouTube. But since then, Ethan has moved away from home, so no more exploring. Oh. One night, Ethan is feeling a bit nostalgic yeah, I can't about believe YouTube the is the new, the new Woody from like Toy Story. At their old videos. I'm going to college, in YouTube. Video where he's I can't record an no abandoned more. 1950s middle school. He spots something that he had never oh, noticed I I'm gonna be before. honest with you though, I love this kind of stuff. I genuinely love to, like, I have been in a couple myself, but I genuinely love to, like, go through abandoned buildings like this. It's so cool. Oh, somebody spray painted that. That's terrifying looking though. Did you see it? At the end of a hallway, a dark figure can be seen stepping out of a doorway and then disappearing right back inside. Oh, wow, that was a full on At thing. At the end of a hallway, a dark figure can be seen stepping out of a doorway and then yeah. disappearing right back inside. Ethan explains that he and his brother explored every single inch of the building that day and they didn't find any squatters or homeless people in the building. So look how cool that is. Oh, that this is like the main reason why I like to see stuff like this. And like why I love games like The Last of Us. And they didn't find like, look any at the, squatters look at the, or homeless people. Look at how nature just, just says, screw you. Like, <laughs> and just says, I'm back, baby. This is mine now. Yeah. Like, nature just like, get out of my face. People in the building. So he goes. has no idea who or what. This could be Hell's Kitchen. This Hell's next spooky kitchen. video from Krugersdorp, South Africa was shared to Reddit by user PuzzleheadedSnow23. 
The footage shows a woman taking a tour through an empty apartment. Wait, from where? This next spooky video from Krugersdorp, South Africa was South Africa? Shared to oh, well, I, you're calling it Hell's Kitchen. I thought, but for those who don't know, in New York, there's actually a place called Hell's Kitchen. Like an actual My user, Puzzleheaded Snow 23. Part of the city. The footage shows a woman taking a tour through an empty apartment, recording each room as she goes. But it seems that there might be something else inside the apartment with her. Let's see, let's see. Did she not notice that? Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. An what do you mean? An unidentified figure can be seen walking through a door and just passing through the kitchen. Reddit user Puzzlehudded Snow 23 claims that the filmer didn't notice whoever or whatever this is. So is this strange footage proof of the paranormal? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Might be a hoax, you but decide. that's a cool one. Thanks so much for watching. As always, my schedule what, is it is weird, so the ghost is like, what? You said this was an open house. Notification icon <laughs> so you never miss a video. I thought that trepidating was a, a some drilling a hole to release Frank. Most of the time, oh, was it? I answer. Or if you say something horrible, I, I so here's the thing. I, I understand but that. I know that there are definitely two. situations where they got to, the brain starts to get inflamed, inflamed, uh, and they do have to like stick a needle in there to like relieve pressure and stuff. I definitely know about that, for sure. All right, great video, my dude. Great video. I'm glad the jest the the jester dude like got back into it though, cause that's awesome.